Why don't you tell me how you started writing poetry? I started writing poetry because I fell in love and I needed to express my feelings. How? I'm Jeffrey Friedman. I'm Rob Epstein. And we co-directed and co-wrote uh, the, the movie Howl, which is based on the poem by Allen Ginsberg. I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness, starving, hysterical, naked. Would you say that Howl, the poem by Ginsberg, is obscene? Yes. I think the, the fact that, that Howl, which is really the main character of the movie, is so much about the full spectrum of humanity. It's, it's, it just is about every aspect of life. That's really what drew us to the challenge of interpreting that in film form. How do you make a movie out of that? And that's what excited us and challenged us. You know, can you make a movie with a poem as a central character and have all the biographical stuff feed into that as backstory and have have the obscenity trial exist as a reaction, but have the poem itself be the central character. James came on the project very early. Um, we met him through Gus Van Zandt and learned that he was an artist and a poet himself and a student of literature. He was publishing poetry. Um, he was the same age Alan was when, when Alan wrote Howl. Um, it just seemed like a natural fit. In Howl, are principles that are still operating now in our in our society in 2011 which is people responding out of fear and and trying to legislate out of fear or create policy out of fear to prevent what what they don't know or understand there still is a concept of obscenity that that's used uh, that's used to manipulate people's behavior. Also, what, what the role of the artist is and what the artist should or shouldn't be allowed to say. Should there be limits on, on artistic expression? I mean, th these are discussions that we're, that we're still having very heatedly. What is the beat generation? There's no beat generation. Just a bunch of guys trying to get published. <laughs>